Kitchen. I'm bringing you another recipe from the TY Ranch. It's found in my cookbook, Southern Fried Skinny Fried, and it's on page 59 if you want to follow along. We're going to make my pesto chicken. Uh, my mama actually loves this, and she's super picky. It's um, flavorful, healthy, so simple and delicious, and that's what we're going to make for dinner tonight. Okay, so in your bowl, you're going to add a half a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese, one cup of whole wheat breadcrumbs. That's what I use. A drizzle of olive oil and salt and pepper. So I like white meat, Ty likes dark meat. So we're gonna do two trays because the thighs will cook a little faster. And you're just gonna spread pesto over each piece of chicken. Then you're going to press your breadcrumb mixture on top. So I'm gonna bake these at 450. The big chicken breast will probably take 25 minutes or so, maybe a little longer. And then I'm gonna put the thighs in when there's 20 minutes left um, because they're not as thick. And I'm gonna put them on the lower rack because I don't want the um, breadcrumbs to get too browned. And if they do start getting too brown, just put a layer of foil over them. Right, we'll put the thighs in with 20 minutes to go. So I uh, like the color of breadcrumbs. I don't want them to get any darker, so I'm just gonna lay a piece of foil on top. And let it keep cooking. And it's ready. So let me show you guys how to make your own pesto if you have the time. The store-bought works great too. It's absolutely delicious, but I had some basil in my garden, so I was excited to pick it and be able to make my own pesto. Here are my pine nuts. Um, I just got them at the grocery store, but when we drive through New Mexico or Arizona, there'll be people along the side of the road selling pinyons out of the trunk of their car, and they're the same thing. And I'm sure they're a lot better because they're fresh. So I'm gonna get a third cup. All right, and I'm gonna just uh, spread them out on this pan. And we're going to toast them. It'll give it a richer flavor. We're gonna put it in the oven. All right, so we're gonna toast our pine nuts at 300 and just keep watching them five or 10 minutes. Okay, our pine nuts are done. You can see now they're a golden brown color. Oh man, they smell good. All right, so we're gonna pick some basil. And you're just gonna pull the leaves off of the stems like that. So we want two cups packed. There's one cup. We'll add that to our blender or food processor. Uh, I don't have a food processor, I just use the Vitamix. Basil, so smash it in there. And here's our second cup. <laughs> So we have our basil in our blender or food processor and we're gonna put our pine nuts in here. All right. So uh, turn your blender or processor on low. Just kind of stir this around. teaspoons of minced garlic.
while it's running, you're going to add a half a cup of olive oil and a slow strain. Alright, the last step is adding a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Mix that up in there. Okay. Alright, then you can just stir in a little salt and pepper.